next guest was brought to my attention by none other than uh, the flyest chick uh, in the country to me. This is my amazing wife. This is Marjorie. <laughs> What's up, girl? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm calling this Marjorie's Fines. <laughs> okay, so Marjorie, tell us about this story. Well, this is about an amazing little boy. He's tackling literacy in the African American community one book at a time. And he's only 11 years old. So take a look at this. Right. My name is Sydney Keys III, and I am the CEO and founder of Books and Bros. Young Sydney started Books and Bros Book Club to encourage other young boys to love reading like he does. Well, it all kind of began when my mom took me on a surprise visit to Icy Me Bookstore. The extraordinary moment Sydney first read about characters who looked like he did went viral after his mom posted it online, inspiring a movement. And I came up with the idea of a book club. And I was like, maybe we can name it Books and Bros. And the bookstore owners, they let us use their space the first time we hosted our first meetup. When it first started off, it's only seven members. And it grew and grew, and I am in awe of Sydney. Hey guys, thank you for coming to this meetup. Books and Bros is paving the way for change, celebrating African American children's books and showing that reading is fun. The biggest impact that I've seen Sydney have on the Ferguson community has been to show that something positive can come out of here, especially from a kid. On bros, you dab, okay? Books and bros. It's like he was that spark, and that just caused a ripple effect. The book that we're going to be reading this month is The Watsons Go to Birmingham. Sydney's mission is as clear as his message. Cool bros read. And Sydney, the bros have a message for you too. Before I joined the book club, I didn't like reading at all. Now I love it. What books and bros helped me with, it helped me read more fluently. I only used to read two books a year, and now on average I read two books a month. I want to thank Sydney for encouraging us to read and making me excited about writing my very first book. Thanks, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. you rock. Well, everybody, please welcome Sydney Keys the Third. So now, Sydney, I hear you got something for me. What is it? The special thing that I have for you is actually a Cool Bros Read shirt. And so, this is the Cool Bros Read shirt that you have for me. Yeah. And I didn't forget about you either, Miss Harvey. Well, I got you a little you. shirt as well, since thank you're not a bro, you, you can still have a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I like that, man. Did you ever expect this whole thing to take off like it did? I never expected it to be this quickly. Like, I haven't even like had that much time to process that I'm actually here with you right now. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, tell us what you've learned from this. Well, what I've learned from this was when I was younger, I used to stutter a lot. But when I started Books and Bros, that helped me a lot about not stuttering. Yeah. yeah. You know Mr. Harvey used to stutter? I, I used to stutter severely, man. Yeah. I couldn't talk outside my house. And now he talks for a living. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, Sydney, there's one more person that you've inspired. Take a look right here. I have never been happier to do a videotape greeting. I wish I could be there to give you a hug, Sydney Keys. <laughs> First of all, to be 11 years old and starting your own Books and Bras book club. High five yourself, high five yourself. I remember when I first started the Oprah Book Club on the Oprah Winfrey show, and everybody told me it would never work because you couldn't get people to read. And then millions of books sold later, and an entire culture being able to change itself and be inspired by reading, I proved them wrong, just like you are. You're proving everybody wrong, because you know, a lot of people think the young black boys don't read, but you obviously know differently. And so you obviously know that it's a great way of connecting and learning and expanding. You get to see the whole world through a book. So I just want you to know 
how proud I am of you, how I know what it means to be a young brother in school trying to convince other brothers to read, and sisters too, I hope, and just keep doing it because this I know for sure, Sydney Keys, it's gonna pay off. That's pretty big, man. Yes. <laughs> After this show right here, boy, you're gonna have way more than 50 people in this book club. <laughs> you about to blow up. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Sydney, we got one more surprise for you. Amazon wants you to keep encouraging boys to sign up for Books and Bros. That's why they're donating $11,000 to sponsor 50 kids with a one-year membership. Now, Sydney, that's not all, man. Each one of them, including you, are gonna get a brand new Amazon Kindle e-reader with a cover. If you'd like to sponsor a child, just head over to stevetv.com for more information. How about that right there, man? Thank you. Yeah. I want to say uh, thanks to Marjorie, uh, my fly chick, for bringing this story <laughs> to my attention. Hey, folks, give it up for the amazing yeah. Sydney Keys. <laughs> <laughs>